Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. Do you guys want to look at some yarn with me? Let's look at some yarn. Uh, but as always, please don't forget to check out my crochet tutorials. I have well over a thousand and I do, well, today is 6-9-2023. It is summer here. So in the summer, I usually only put one to two crochet tutorials out during the week, but it's because I don't like summer. Uh, but during the winter, I usually do two to five a week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Um, but I do like to talk about yarn as well and educate about yarn and crochet. So I got some yarn from Hobby. Hobby. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Now that is based, they are based in Denmark. I like Hobby. It's a nice yarn company. Um, I will be honest and I do find them rather expensive. But when they have sales, which they do very often, you can get some killer deals. Alright, so I only buy from them mostly when they have sales. Um, so I hit up a sale they were having, and they might still be having it. Um, they ship all over the place too, so, um, and different shipping prices for where you're at, I think. Um, I always pay for the express shipping, so, um, $30 for, to the U.S. for express, I think. I don't know if that depends on how much you buy or not. No, I think it's always $30 for me to pay for express shipping. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, show you what I got. Okay, I got a few bags here. Well, actually two and a, and two and a little bit, and one little bitty one. They shipped DHL to me, all right? Trusty box cutter. Here's a bag it shipped in. Here we go. super excited some of these yarns I've had before and I got them because they were a good deal and some of them I have not don't worry I will not cut myself with the box cutter but if I do I do have a needle and some yarn up here and I am qualified to sew myself together so and I'll shut the camera off while I do <laughs> okay Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to cut myself. Okay, so let's start off with what we have here right here, right in the top. So this is Hobby's Cookie Yarn. I like it a lot. Now, it is very similar to other yarns that maybe you have heard of. Um, it's very similar to Red Heart Roll With It, Roll With it Melange. Um, it's very similar to Lion Brand Ferris Wheel, if you've worked with any of those. That's kind of, I even think they have some of the same colors, but some that are different. This one is very pretty. I've never had this color before. So the cookie is 200 grams or 60 meters. 100% um, acrylic made in India. Machine washable, but it does not, it says do not dry. All right. Huh. Okay. So... I got these at the when I bought them and they were like eleven dollars and thirty cents a cake, I do believe, which was on sale. I don't think that's bad. It's six hundred meters. You got about six hundred and seventy yards there, something like that, six hundred and sixty. So that's a pretty good deal. Now they do I think classify this as a four weight roving style, maybe a three, but there you go, that's what it is. I think that's an alright four weight. This color is absolutely gorgeous. The, um, it's called burgundy. That's the color of this one. So I did get two of these. So I would have um, over 1,200 yards. And I thought maybe poncho. Maybe, you know. People ask me a lot, like, how do you know how many yards to get for what you're going to make? i just been doing it for so long that I know that I can usually get a poncho. No matter what stitch I use out of 1,200 yards of yarn. Um... Whether or not I have extra, a lot left, now that, that's, that's, you know, I don't know, it could be possible. But I know that no matter what stitch, usually 1,200 yards is going to cut it for me for a poncho. So I got two of those. That is a very, very pretty color. That might be my favorite of the cookies. Nice. But then I got another color, too. Ooh, this one's pretty, too. Look at this one. This is color fuchsia. Oh, that's pretty. So this is the cookie as well. And I, you know what? I got two of them again, thinking poncho, shawl, something like that. I don't know. 
if I'll even do any of that. I'm just thinking, you know, and that way if I give it away somehow to whoever gets it, I know they have enough there that they can make something out of it. So that is very beautiful. It's nice, it's soft, it's roving style, and it smells clean. What more? And it was on sale. What more could you ask for? Nothing, nothing. Okay, so they had um, some of their, sorry about my clock there, some of their cakes on sale as well. These were the uh, Dahlia cakes. I've never had the Dahlia cakes, but I can only assume that they're similar to their other cakes. <laughs> uh, so more than likely they are probably exactly the same. So the Dahlia cakes were on sale for $11.90. I'm a big fan of the Dahlia flower, so why not get the Dahlia cake, right? Isn't that a pretty? Now, this uh, particular one is 100% cotton. Now, some yarn, some of these cakes from Hobby come, they're a solid strand of yarn, and some of them are not. You can see some of them are made up of four little strands there um, that are not twisted, and that's what this particular one is. I don't have a problem using yarns like that. Some people would have put will put a bead on it, um, and it, it helps them to hold it together. But I don't have a problem crocheting with yarns that aren't plied like that. Um, it, it will equal a two weight. The four strands there, they'll equal a two weight. Now, don't get me wrong, I prefer them to be plied, but when they're not, I get you know they're still usable for me. This one's very pretty. So this one, the Dahlia, this is 100% cotton, uh, 200 grams, 7 ounces, it's 800 meters, so 874 yards, number two weight when you put those four plies together, and it is made in India as well. So the color, so this is enough to make a shawl, which is probably, if I keep it, that's probably what I do with it, that's what I do with most two weights. Uh, the color of this one is called Melody Harmony, color number four, it's very gorgeous, colors uh as you can see kind of a tealish tealish bluish color and it's purples very very pretty i like that one a lot although i don't like two weights but you can't pass up a good deal this one was outstandingly beautiful as well <laughs> oh it's so pretty but it's bag of day colors this is a dahlia the dahlia as well look at that one green and orange it looks like a sunflower that is beautiful. Start here, work your way out to the leaves of the sunflower. It's a very, very dark green out here. Uh, this one's called a Rocco number 12, the color. So that would be a beautiful shawl. Now it, it being the two weight and being 874 yards, so you get almost 900 yards. That's gonna make it all right size shawl, you know? It's not, it's gonna be about an average size shawl. It's beautiful, beautiful. Love that one. What else did I get up in here? Is that the only dahlias I got? Is that? Oh, those were twelve ninety. Did I tell you that? That's what they were on sale for. Twelve ninety. Okay. Um. Wait one second, because I got another bag here, and it has another dahlia in it, and I'm gonna. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. I about to. Well, it was supposed to have another Dahlia in it. I'm not seeing it. Let's see what we got here. I gotta have Dahlia Night Queen. It's not in that one. Come on, don't do me like this, Hobby. Don't make me call you. Don't make me message you again. Please. Okay, I think I found it underneath some rubble. Underneath the rubble of yarn, I think I found it. Okay, I did. Good, good, good. My hobby's usually pretty good. They don't never miss. I don't think they've ever missed anything in my bags. This one is uh, the Dahlia as well. It does have the easy centerfold there. Um, this one is called Night Queen number eleven. As you can see, very beautiful mauve out to greens. Super, super pretty. Very beautiful shawl. Now there was one I had to get two of. I had to get two of it. And you know why I was thinking on this one? poncho uh-huh that's what i thought about this one and of course my favorite color if you do not know me is brown and this one is called chocolate chocolate rose one of my favorite flowers a rose what's better than a chocolate rose 
not much of anything, if you ask me. So this is the Dahlia as well. Look the colors in that. Very pretty. Uh, brown to like a purplish brown to like a light brown. Then it goes off to pinkish browns like Victorian color, right? Victorian pink right here to a light pink. So I got two of those. These I think I will keep. Um, I might come up with a poncho design and teach it and but commission someone else to do it because I really can't wear two weights anymore hardly at all because my hand is really really bad but I have to make a poncho out of this because that's it this was the per the one that I really really wanted to make a poncho and um yeah I'm gonna set these over here in my key pile Usually I put them on my desk you know, if I know 100% certain that I'm going to keep them. I'll put them there. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, and then I got some of their butterfly yarn, which I've had before. And I have a beautiful, beautiful shawl on my channel made out of the butterfly yarn. It's called the Bobbles Run Through It. You have to check it out. You'll love it. It's, it's pretty. <clears throat> Now they classify this butterfly yarn as a three weight. Okay, so this is what it is. Butterfly from Hobby. They all got names of butterflies and this is kind of what it looks like. If you open it up, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to see different colors inside. I love this yellow one. This is like mustard yellow. This one is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. So it's 100% acrylic, 200 grams, 7 ounces, 500 meters, or 547 yards. And it is classified as a lightweight number three. Well, let's check that out. It's so soft and shiny. There's their three weight. It's a nice three weight. I give it that. I made that shawl, the bobbles run through it shawl. I'll put a link to the, to the tutorial below. And I color controlled that shawl. Because this is a self-striping yarn. As you can see when you open it up, there's different colors of yarn. Um, but it was a pleasure to work with this yarn. It was very easy. It just slid nicely on your hook. It's got such a nice shine to it. It's a very, very pretty yarn. Um, it is machine washable and dryable. Made in Turkey. Um, the color I have here is called Cloudless Sulfur interesting so these were like 11 30 at the time that i bought them which was last week they still could be on sale i don't have the hobbies website up where i would look but um i thought that was a good deal and this one is one of my favorites and then another one i got i just love the uh the colors of it i think it's just so gorgeous it is so that's my favorite color yellow right there <laughs> so pretty so this one more than likely what was i thinking when i bought this at 547 yards a piece i was thinking three weight i was probably thinking poncho or shawl on that or top more than likely um and this is my second favorite of the uh butterfly color that they have it's so gorgeous they're all actually really this one's called a northern pearly eye it is so <laughs> pretty. I just have to dig around a little bit on it to, so you can see all the colors in it. Um, if you go to their site, you can see it better, but it's so pretty. It's very, very nicely done. This is still the butterfly. The colors on all of them are very pretty. And like I said, they're named after butterflies. So there you can see that pearly white there in the center. And it kind of goes trying to show you the colors it kind of goes out to a peachy color peachy pink and then out to purples and stuff it's very pretty so i love this one a lot gorgeous probably thinking the same thing shawl poncho or some sort of top on that when i bought that and then um i had to get this green one which is called the iridescent uh forester i wish i could show you all the colors in the middle without having to it's like a greenish teal blue Healish bluish green. I can't without having to open them up. I could show you all the colors in them, but I have to open them or you won't see the beauty within. So if you look, it's light there, 
and then the more you dig around and the more you dig the more you find with these yarns I'm just trying to it's hard to show you but if you look there's white and there's like a greenish color and then it just goes off to different greens and blues if you look on their side you, it'll show a better picture they just come kind of closed up like that it's like a surprise within your, your ball of yarn and who doesn't love surprises um i'm gonna put this one over here although i think it's beautiful gorgeous sorry about that okay and then they had this stuff on sale uh they're they're doing a closeout on them i guess um I don't think they're discontinuing them. I don't think they're going to sell this brand anymore. So these were $21 a pack. And I don't know a lot about this yarn. I think I only bought it one time and I never even used it. So let's check it out right now. So it's called the World of Yarn. And that's the brand. Mouth clean, 100% acrylic. Um, it's a medium weight number four, made in Turkey, machine washable, dryable. Um, hmm. 165 meters or 180 yards, 100 grams. So there's their four weight. So this is just kind of that's a nice four. It's kind of a basic acrylic. It's not a lot of yardage in here, 180 yards. And the feel of it is that of a basic acrylic. I'd probably give it like a six. Red Heart Super Saver being a five. I usually use my rating scale as most people have felt Red Heart Super Saver at one time or another. Not everybody, but most people. And you kind of know what that feels like. I give that a solid five as far as an, a basic acrylic scale. So one better is not bad. It would remind me of Red Heart with Love. Uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. I think I give that a six as well. Um, you know, it's Joanne's Big Twist, similar to those. That's what it feels like. No, it's not soft as acrylic, but it's it's scarfable, and it's well, I'm certain will soften up after a wash. So they had these in five packs already curated. Um, so I got. Like I said, they were discontinuing them. They had other ones, too, that weren't in five packs that you could just buy single balls. I don't know how much they were. But this five pack was $21. That's kind of a lot, actually. Considering the yardage in there. Oh, well, it's color-coordinated for me, I guess. Um, anyways, so uh, this one is bag number five. You can see that it's pastels. Um... So, mm -hmm. I bought two bags of that one. I don't know at the time what I was thinking. I was just thinking that um, if I make something of it, now I have enough to make something bigger because they're discontinuing and it ain't gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone. I won't be able to get it again. And if I give it away, whoever whoever I give it to will have enough to make something bigger as well. I can't pass up a discontinued a product that's been discontinued. Okay, and then I also got it in this color as well. This is the same thing. <laughs> I'll probably keep this one though. I love those colors. So my Victorian style. So I got two packs of those. Those, that's an outstanding color palette. Well, in my eyes, it's an outstanding color palette. I am super happy that I got that one. This is called a uh, color uh, pack bag number three look at those colors so you know i love brown is my favorite but i love a good good victorian like rose or pink victorian colors i love the victorian era so much i tried to decorate in the victorian era but i live in a log cabin so it's really hard to make a log cabin look victorian but i'll be danging if i don't try i try <laughs> this would be a beautiful afghan wow that's pretty yeah, I got enough. I can make a, like a throw. I got enough there for a throw. I'm keeping these. Oops. And I got garbage all over my desk. I'm keeping those. All right. 
Let me move on here. Okay, so this was new. I never had it before. Well, it's new to me anyway. I don't know, I don't know how new it is. But <laughs> anyways, so I've never seen this, never felt it, never touched it. This is called, oh, probably not going to pronounce that. I can't pronounce anything. You don't have to tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. There you go. I'll just say what it is. And this is the print version. I don't know if it's new or not, but I've seen they had solids too. I was going to get a white to go with it and make a baby blanket, but the white was sold out. So I ended up with this variegated. So more than likely, I'll use it for a stitch tutorial or something. But let's go over and look at it. So this is 51 acrylic and 49 cotton. Feels good. I like that. That's definitely garment worthy. You can make a top or something out of that. That'd feel nice. Baby blanket. Mm, baby like that. Uh, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 250 meters or 273 yards. Um, it does say it's machine washable. And dry. No, not dryable. And this is their three weight. That's an okay three weight if you ask me. Yep. That's pretty. I like that. I, if I remember, I didn't like the price though. If I remember, it was on sale. Um, fifteen. I think they were like six bucks a piece, and that's on sale. Um, I guess that's not bad in today's market. It's not good. It's not good, <laughs> but it's not bad. But like I said, since I didn't have any solid white for me to border a blanket in, I just got three, and I think that I will probably make a stitch tutorial out of it or uh start maybe i'll start a baby blanket and wait for them to get more in this is color number 13 yeah i like it it's very pastel-y yeah I other colors as well i like that it's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes very pretty okay i got just a couple more here let's see some of these I don't think I've had. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Hobby give away a candy in a long time. I thought Hobby. If you buy it from Hobby, you probably know they give away these candies. I don't think I've had a candy in my bag forever. They're cherry flavored hard candies. I'm going to save that for later. <laughs> okay. So I got this is called Lemonada. I guess that's how you say it. Lemon, 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 lemonada, lemonada. 100% recycled fibers, huh? Huh. How's it feel? Feels like recycled fibers. Okay, so it's chain spun there, and that's what it looks like. It's kind of a flat. Oh, well, this isn't really what I was um, envisioning. When I, I've never had this when I bought this, but it is chain spun. It's kind of flat taped. So they classify this as a three weight. I don't classify that as a three, but to each their own, you can do think whatever you want to think on that. Um, 50 cent, 50 recycled cotton and 50 recycled polyester. Um, 50 grams, 135 meters or 147 yards. So, I think when I bought it, I think the color is very pretty. Um, I'm, like I said, I've never had this before. So, um, these are about three, a little under three dollars a piece. And give or two something a piece at the time. Um, yeah. I think I was thinking like a top or something. Is probably what I'd make out of it. Now that I'm seeing it, and it's it's really not the style you already. I don't know what I'll make with this. That's a thinker. I'm not a huge fan of those flat. It, I know it's chain spun, but it's like a flat chain spun. Plus, it's a recycled. It, it doesn't feel bad, but it doesn't feel like amazing. I give it a straight five on a soft and scale Red Heart Super Saver. Similarities on there. I'm not certain that it will soften up since it's already been re it's just recycled stuff. I could be wrong though. But anyways, that's that one. Okay. And then this one, 
I can't remember if I've ever had it before. If I have, I don't remember and never made anything out of it. This one is called Portobello. Like the mushroom, I guess. I guess because that's got the mushroom on it. It's a really, really gorgeous color. It's soft. It smells clean. So this is chain spun. But this is a rounder chain spun. It's not like that flat stuff. And it's got like fuzzies on it. You see that? Very, very pretty. I like that a lot. Very similar to a lot of yarns you see on the market today. You probably see a lot of yarns that look like this. Uh, it's color number 43. Made in Italy with love. Hmm. Medium weight number 4. Yep. Um, 50 grams, 175 ounces, 120 meters, or 131 yards. 131 yards. It's 60 cotton, 28 acrylic, and 12 wool. Okay. Machine wash, don't dry. No, hand wash, don't dry. Okay, so I did get 12 of these. It's hard for me to figure it up off the top of my head because I just give you the total price for 12. But um, they were four something a piece. And that was on sale. I think that's gorgeous. And I think that might be top making material. Feels nice. I like yarns like this that have that little bit of fuzz. They are sometimes a little bit of, of uh, difficult. They can be refractory when it comes time to, if you make a mistake, <laughs> you know, to pull them off, pull them apart. But it's pretty. I like that one a lot. Nice. I like the color. It's beautiful. Okay, I got one more here and then, that I've never had before. And then I'm going to go. This one's called pearly haze now that's very shiny that is see that light hitting that crikey so wow that is a pretty peach too that is gorgeous but let's see it feels so like nothing like air it smells like nothing like yarn <laughs> okay let's look at it this is chain spun as well Ooh, ooh, that's pretty oh that's a pretty yarn it's uh it's not really flat either like the other one it's soft that is gorgeous it's pretty yarn. pearly haze is 73 percent viscose 27 percent wool they're classifying that as a four weight yarn there you go thick four nice four uh 50 grams 1.75 ounces 110 meters or 120 yards hand wash lay it flat if i remember right it wasn't uh, this is color 33 it wasn't the cheapest yarn but i never had it and i wanted to try it yes it, it definitely wasn't the cheapest yarn and this was i think it was on sale mm-hmm Well, I'll tell you how much it is real quick. It is on sale. $7.33, but was eleven twenty. dollars Yikes. Yeah, see, that's why that's just, that's too much money. $11.20. Uh, but yeah, on sale, they got a lot of pretty colors, and they're all so shiny. Um, I, had, I remember having a hard time choosing what color that I wanted to, to make something with, but this one might make like a pretty, pretty like lightweight. What's it made out of? The visco wool. There's not really tons of wool in it. So I think that it being chain spun too makes it light because I don't know uh, if you've watched my chain spun video. It's spun in a chain formation, which allows the air to flow free, fr freely through uh, the uh, strand of yarn which makes for a lighter weight garment in the end. I think this would look really pretty as like a vest. I think that it's it's light enough and airy enough that you could wear it during spring, summer, fall, or winter, depending on what garment you wore underneath it. You could make a nice lightweight cardigan for summer or winter, depending on you know how heavy of a garment you wore underneath, or even a top. So I think it would be suitable for all aspects of of every season um 
depending on what stitch you use and what type of garments you wear underneath it. You wouldn't even need to wear a garment underneath it because it's super soft, so scarves and hats would work out well too. That's a very nice yarn. Um, I really like it. Is it worth $11.20 on a regular basis? Heck no. Was it worth the $7.30? Not really, but that's what I had to pay to get it. It was on sale. Uh, but I never think yarn's worth what they want for it anymore, so don't go by me. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Ooh, I got some pretty stuff from Hobby. I have to say this pearly haze is absolutely gorgeous. The shine on it is magnificent. I do think it's a bit overpriced, even on sale. Um, but it's very, very pretty, and I will make something with it. The portobello is very nice, too. This lemon one or whatever it is, it's odd. I'll have to think of something to do with that. Not, it's not odd in a bad way. It's just different, you know. I love the butterflies, of course. Uh, I'm thinking Shaw or Poncho. Probably keep these two. They're my favorites. And I love the Dahlias. Uh, Dahlia Kicks. They're definitely Shaw making material. Um, this one I'm definitely going to keep the Chocolate Rose. The other ones I probably will not. But it was, they were on sale. And out of the cookies, the cookies, I got these two. If I chose one to, to keep, it's going to be the burgundy one. But I do like the purple. They're both very pretty. So, I am very happy with my hobby order. I think everything is, everything came. Everything was beautiful. Um, and I like it all. I like, if I had to pick one that wasn't my favorite, it would be this one. But it's just because, it doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just because I don't have to think about what to make with it. You know, like, what would this be good for? If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. See it? And it, like I said, it's like a Red Heart Super Saver feeling. And it's like a flat type of yarn. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did. I got a lot of ideas for some of this yarn. Um, a lot of it, I, you know, will do other things with. But, I can't wait to uh, make some things. So, oh, and these things are so pretty. I'm so stoked that I was able to get two of these before they're discontinued because I'm going to keep these two, this color here, the two packs, and make something for my bedroom in here because this is the, these are the colors that my bedroom are. Like I said, it's a cabin, but I'm going to make it a Victorian cabin. If it's the last thing that I do, I'm going to go. I'll see you on my next video, okay? Thanks for watching, all right? Bye, guys.